Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial we're gonna create a green screen effect in Luma Fusion. We're gonna replicate the video which I made in After Effects a couple of months ago where the action 2 was coming up from its box and then it was spinning and I got sucked just into the action 2 and the video started. We're not gonna do the the sucking in part if that's allowed to say in today's tutorial we might do that in a different one it's a little bit trickier one but we're gonna have the action two coming up and then it's gonna spin and it's gonna be awesome so there is a few techniques that you can use to create this today we're gonna do the easy one and if this is the first time that you are here clicking on any of my videos I really appreciate that you took the time to check this out make sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't already soon a hundred thousand subscribers now and that means 100k subscribers giveaway so make sure to comment down below and uh, with that said let's head over to the iPad now as we move over to Luma Fusion, I've already prepared the clips that we're gonna use so this is the clip where I'm opening the DJI action 2 box and I've also split this clip in two since the action 2 is actually laying inside the box this will be inside the box during the entire sequence now for the last part of the clip I've added an adjustment in scale this is to hide the fact that the action 2 is inside the box and also to sell in the effect. And if we pay attention to the zoomed in clip here, we can see the action 2. This is also what we're going to use later as our reference in scale to make it easier to have a more accurate scale to our animation. Now moving back to the timeline, we're going to locate our green screen clip. The green screen clip I'm going to use is a tripod shot of the action 2 sitting on a tripod which is on a turntable. In the background I've placed my green screen and I've also put a piece of green screen cloth underneath the action 2 to make the masking a bit easier. Dragging this over to the timeline I'm gonna trim down so I only end up with the part of the clip I want to use. Now placing this on top of the two clips on the bottom track we can see the duration of the green screen clip is longer and exceeds the duration of the two clips. But since the action 2 is spinning fairly slow, we will speed this up later in the process so it does not matter. The next step is to remove the green screen. As this was shot in S-Log3 and the lighting wasn't optimal, I had a hard time adjusting this in Luma Fusion to get a decent look. So I recommend that when you record for a green screen effect that you're going to create in Luma Fusion, that you use a more saturated profile and isolate the color difference a little bit more than what I did. And the reflection in the Action 2 screen it didn't really help either. But after spending some minutes on the adjustments, I ended up with a decent look. Now taking a look at the image, we also have the grey areas around the Action 2. So here we need to use the cropping feature to isolate the Action 2 from the unwanted parts in the image. Now for some reason the Action 2 had some unwanted movement to it, so an easy fix to this was to add a few keyframes and adjust the handles of the cropping to follow the Action 2. And now that our masking is complete, we need to adjust the speed of this clip as it's going way too slow. So we're going to select the green screen clip and copy this from the clipboard. Then we're going to create a new project and paste this by tapping on the clipboard and paste. Then we're going to export this right away with the AGV transparency export. Once the export is complete, we're going to take the exported clip and drag back to our timeline. Change the speed to 6 times the speed and export again. The reason I export this two times but with different speeds is so that I have the masked out clip at a normal speed and a sped up version just in case I need it. This will also make it easier if I work between projects I now don't have to go between the different projects because I have the exported file in two versions. So now that we have the two clips exported we can move back to our main project and continue the effect. We're going to place the exported clip which has the change of speed on top of our clips at the beginning of the last clip just like this. We can now go into frame and fit and start animating our object. Like I mentioned earlier we have the action 2 laying in the box but it's outside of the frame so it won't be visible. So I'm going to start by changing the size of the green screen clip and adjust it so it matches the size of the original action 2 which is laying inside the box. 
So now that we have the appropriate size, we can go to the beginning of the clip, create a keyframe and start animating our green screen clip. When the animation is done, our effect looks like this. But we also need to add some motion blur to sell in the effect, so we're going to add a motion 20 and adjust the angle to fit the movement of the object, creating a keyframe at the beginning and at the point where the animation starts to slow down. We can now go back to the keyframe at the beginning and add our desired amount of blur. Now after adding some speed changes to the end of the green screen clip, we need to take an additional snapshot to make the action to hang a little bit longer in the air. So we're going to move our playhead to a point at the end, make a cut, delete the last part and then select the last clip. At this point, we're going to take a snapshot. Then we need to put this snapshot at the end of our clip, just like this. Then go into edit and apply a dark luma key. This is because our background is black. For the settings, I'm pulling both handles to the left, removing the edge blur radius and placing the erosion distance on two. But I also want the first spin of the action 2 to be a bit faster, so I'm creating a speed change in the middle of its duration just to make it a bit better. Now if you want to apply some additional changes to your object, in my case that is the action 2, now is the time to do that before we do our last export. The last export is optional as our effect is now complete, but I want to do another export just to minimize the amount of layers being on my timeline. So for the last export, we're going to export this at 4K with a video quality of 75 megabits per second. Now as a finishing touch, we can now apply our cinematic bars, color correction and grading to make everything blend a little bit better. Let's take a look at the final finished export. So let me know down in the comment section below if there's any other types of uh, green screen effects or tutorials that you would like to see. Check out Robich Give Vlogs for insane deals on LumaFusion presets. And that's gonna be end. Uh, that's gonna be end. That's gonna be the end for today. I will catch you in the next video.